Good morning, cake makers. This is Lee Fondant and Apron Strings. Um, this is actually take two because somebody called me and I didn't think I had, I, well, I did think I had my did not disturb sign on, but I didn't. So it stopped the whole thing. So luckily I haven't done too much. Um, with, I'm going to show you a video of um, making some stones and how to put them onto this castle that I've made. It's for a wedding cake. It is it's going to be fun. It's got a few, lot of techniques on it, um, and I've got lots of moulds for making stones. Um, I mean, one of the ways I make them are individual, like this, but actually, um, and also moulds to press them out and things like that, or put them onto the cake. But I just thought I'd do these by hand, because I thought it's another technique that I'd like to show people, and it's fun, um, and it's fairly quick, but um, detailed, yeah. So what we need is a cake, obviously. This cake here is... Um, three tier this is a wedding cake we're going to have lots of fabulous things sticking out of it and this these two are all fondant and this has been spray painted gold this I haven't put fondant on because we have ganache underneath all of our cakes and this has got chocolate ganache no fondant because I just thought that um, it would be too much fondant for people to eat and just come out a little bit too far for me um, the, the things that I'm using is a 50-50 mix of gum paste and 50% fondant and I've made it into uh, um, marbled. Look back on our um, uh, previous YouTube channels and you'll see that we, I've done a couple of marble techniques there. One is for um, the um, pink, I think it is, and one is for navy and black. Um, don't, mar don't use too much um, don't over marble this because you want it to be really light and I'll show you what I've used here and in fact I've rolled some out because this is how we're going to start it so as you can see I've marbled it in in the dark grey when I say dark I mean sugar fair shallow shadow grey I just love this grey it's always reliable um, you it just goes to the shade no darker than that shade I really like that and then I've used white and then I've mixed the two together the, the shadow and the white to get a paler marble and then I've just mob that a tiny little bit and then rolled it out to this sort of thing okay so what else do I have I have various tools well I've got all my 50 50 in here can you see ready to roll just keep it nice and moist in an airtight bag I've got icing sugar um, pizza cutter a libel brush edible glue and cake and what I've done is rolled it out to, as you say, that sort of thickness, and then just very randomly just cut like that, just to give some sort of oblongs and rectangular square shapes. Now, I'm, I'm going to show you a little bit of this, and then I'm going to fast forward it, um, because it, it can be a bit like watching paint dry. So I'm just going to do around this door, okay? And then I'm going to come go all the way around, and um, then when I get to the end, the last few I will s slow it down and you'll see me do the last few and finish off this door this is 50-50 um, as well this is um, the turret I put on and it's actually I put this on yesterday because I, I just had time to do that and you can see it's got a lip here which you go oh no it's got a lip but actually it's there's a reason it's got a lip because I want the stones to little puff out so they look all individual stony so don't worry about that okay so I'm gonna start so say you've already cut it and then I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue on there. Find a piece and turn in the edges, the corners, should I say, just so it starts to do a little puffy bit. And we want all of our stones to look different. And then just tuck it, tuck it in. I'm not gonna use that actually, because I've been talking in a phone call. It's gone a little bit, um, the air's been out to it, so I'm going to work a little bit quickly here because I don't want them to crease too much. So let's use another one. Let's do that one. Okay, there we go. That's a, it's moister. Can you see? I've just sort of made it balloon a little bit out. Yeah, I hope you can see this. And get another one. Tuck in the edges. And then I like this great bit there, so I'm going to put that in move it around the door and I was saying in the earlier video that this door I put on again it's a 50 50 um, mix <laughs> like that it's got all squidgy of the um, 
go and pay some funding. And what I've done is, it's actually this is actually my old, I love moles, and I could have done this all by hand, but I just because I had it and it also had the heart in, which is a theme that's going to go on. There's going to be a sword sticking out the top. So see this cake when it's finished, please. So I'm going to be painting that heart and, and various different things later. So it just seemed perfect. So the idea is that you squidge them all the way up to the, the door. You don't need to have a door, you know. It's just, I'm having it all for the reason it's it's got the detail that I want in it. Um, let's see, now this is quite a thin piece, so I'm going to get a little bit thinner there. And see if I can squish that in. No, too thick. Too thin, sorry. See? First time. And just trust yourself with this. If you can't get it in there, be very careful. Just push it in. Mold it around the door, give it a tuck in. Okay. And it, it it's kind of good to have all these creases in because they're supposed to be individually, you know, stoned. All right, let me do this. Is anybody up, else up this early? Is it just me? Stanhope is lovely this time of the morning. Sunny Stanhope in Weardale, County Durham. That's where we are. We've got a cake cafe. Please subscribe and like. And I'd really like to get more than 37 subscribers. I don't know if that's possible. I think maybe not. I think. <laughs> but anyway, it's nice to know some people are watching. Um, there you go. If there's anything that you'd like for me to show you, any te technique, let me know. I know there are lots and lots and lots of um, cake people out there. The reason I started this channel was because a couple of things. One, I don't have time for um, teaching very often um, and we're doing more and more cakes. So a lot more techniques are being done. And also, I just wanted to show people that real people can make cakes. You know, it's not, you don't have to be in a studio with good lighting and perfect makeup and all that sort of thing. You can just give it a go. Um, if you're looking for advice, give it, send emails, ask questions. So this is all about real cakes for real people in a real cake cafe with a real studio. And these are for real customers. So I'm not making this up. This is actually going, this is a wedding cake, okay, that we're going to give away. Well, they bought it, obviously, but, you know, they've ordered it. They've come in, done a consultation. See, I'm just bending the corners in. I like this one. This is cool. Just to give it a little bit of oomph. You know, this is not me going, oh, I'll just make this for the camera. No, this is something that somebody's got to eat. So it's all fresh inside here. This is not a dummy cake. There you go, can you see? There you go. I'm liking this. I'm going to stretch this one out because what I want to start doing now is overlaying them. I think I've got enough there to show you what I want, but I want this longer one here because I want to start making them a little bit uneven, just a different sort of technique. That's my wrong brush. So, see, this is a nice big one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is bend it. If it doesn't work, I'll take it off, but you know, we'll see. And mould it around that stone there. Bend it in, bend it in. And keeping that there. Okay, let's stick you on. Let's get you in there. I think I missed, I haven't got any glue on that bit there. Okay, so that's a little bit longer, that stone. I like it though. Which means that from now on, hopefully, we can just make sure you're, when you're moving around, just make sure your stones are connected. That one wasn't there. I'm trying to pay too much attention to making sure you can see me. Um, oh, too much glue. Take it off. Too much glue. I, I had this little accident with my cat uh, several weeks ago. 
that sounds really weird uh, and I've just written this blog and it's um, going to be published in a little while and it's uh, telling you how I just went head over with my cat um, which is not wouldn't think it was very interesting but for some reason it made me chuckle and so now I have a a poorly knee so probably one of the reasons I'm in so early this morning because actually I'm on quite on track is because I couldn't sleep See, I'm going to try and keep it this line here more or less straight even though um, we're going to overlap the or underlap so what I'm going to do is get this one and just squidge it out a little bit I do love the technical term squidge and then um, pop that into, nope, not that one, because that's too short. Let's have this one. Oh, that's nice. Let's squidge it. And I want it to be here. Tuck it up to the top, and then it's just going to over, go over the edge there. Can you see? Tuck it in to the bottom. And then tuck it around. Okay, can you see how that's going? Right, so what I'm going to do is, uh, should I put one more there and then before I go and fast forward? Yeah, I just answered my own question there. So there it is, I'm just tucking the edges in to make it fit. So it was going to tuck down into the last one, the one at the bottom, up to the bridge of the turret. Is it called a turret? I keep talking, calling it a turret, it's probably something. If there's anybody out there who Objects to me calling it turret. I apologise. I can see I make cakes for a living. Okay. So, there you go. Alright. Now, I'm going to keep going round, making different stones and everything. Um, so, see you in just a, uh, at the other side. Okay, um, back again. Um, hope you that was okay and not too fast. Um, I'm coming to sh the last bit here, and I'm just going to show you the end of what I'm doing. So again, I've got down here. I've got some the fondant and gum paste mix, and I've just rolled out a little bit more and cut it up. So I'm going to just show you here quickly. So bending over the ends and making them basically making them fit in between to look like bricks or giving them some texture, some um, bend in them. Because you've got the marble in there too, it's gonna, when it's all together, it's gonna look pretty nice. My problem is when I'm doing this, I get really, really, really picky about which bits I want to use, like I just did there. Um, and actually, you can't just otherwise you'll end up going gaga just use I mean obviously don't select the worst ones but use just go for the most textured ones maybe or the ones that are closest to you I don't know it's your criteria whatever looks good I mean obviously I don't do realism so you know castles I'm never gonna make a real castle and hopefully I'm never going to make a fairy castle because um, it's probably put me off. Everybody's probably hating me now because I go, oh, I don't want to do a fairy castle. 
Which I wouldn't mind doing a fairy castle, if I'm really honest, as long as I can do what I want. But I do prefer things like this. This is good. I say it's a wedding cake, so it's it's going to be fun. And what I do like about this couple is they're getting married at a, at a, a castle, and the groom is coming in on a horse, dressed as a knight with a sword, full works, fabulous. And the bride has got the full works um, Tudor, wasn't that Tudor? Whatever it is. But anyway, she's wearing the full dress and the headdress, and oh, she's going to look fantastic. I can't wait to see pictures. Okay, so what I'm doing now for these last bits are literally just fitting in bits of fondant to fit the gaps. This was a real castle, I am sure it would just fall down, but luckily I'm not building a real castle. So I think that's the last gap here. Still trying to make it look like stone. Okay, and now we're going to do this, this bit here. And again, it's exactly the same, just little bits of your gum paste, 50 50 gum paste fondant. Make them fit around. Like I say, I'm going to. Um, I don't know where my other tools are. Oh, so I'm going to um, paint this door. So I just want to make sure that stone is tucked behind the outside of the door. Tie a little bit more. Pop it into here. And then I'm going to show you another thing that I'm just going to do last minute while I was thinking about it. Like I said, there's going to be paint on this, so can you see that actually looks like it's meant to be there-ish. You see these little bits here? I like these little bits of stone, um, and I've, I've put some here because it looks a little bit more rough and ready and less... I've deliberately put stone here. So what I'm going to just do is add a little bit of... just in places just some extra little bits going all the way around but I won't do that while you're watching because again long time so I'll just do a couple and then I'll show you when the cake is completely finished do one here I think so it just looks like a tie another stone on top just to give it a, an extra dimension Obviously you don't have to, that was my uh, <laughs> fridge kicking in. Obviously you don't have to do this. You don't have to do any of this. You can do lots and lots of techniques. I mean, um, I've just developed lots of techniques because I say this is a working kitchen and everything has to be done precisely and quickly because we're working with fresh cake. You know, this is not, like I said before, this is not a studio, this is somebody's cake, so it has to be fresh and it has to look the way they want it to look. So I've, you know, there are lots of techniques out there. I'm just using the ones that work for me. Um, so I hope you like them. So anyway, let me show you this, and then I shall carry on doing it. And like I said, please subscribe, please like, and when this cake is done, I'll put it at the end of the the tutorial, and you can see the whole lot with sword on the top as well. So thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day. Come and see us in stand-up. Bye.